No! Next stop, right. Roscoe Street Station. And Alex. That face, though, man. Just the face of a, a freaking legend. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's go meet Alex. This is good. Jeez, that actually gave me a fright. <laughs> Okay, I saved him. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Welcome back to some more Max Payne, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Uh, thank you for all the, you know, nice comments. Not many comments, but still, thank you. Anyway, let's just get into it. Um, so last time we got here through the um, train station. Okay, here's some guy. Oh! Alright. Right, I'm still not used to this, this game too much. Okay, I ran out of bullets for those, huh? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he's dead. Oh man, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about playing this, I'm not that great at this game, okay, yeah I've been playing a lot of Max Payne 3 recently and playing this just feels weird, but anyway, we're gonna be going this way. Through the tunnel. No, I don't want to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, so weird. Okay, let's jump up. Okay. Can you kill the rats? Oh, you can. I feel kind of bad, but it's alright. Let's just keep moving, keep moving. Oh boy, they would get whacked, this guy. Whatever they said. Okay, you can just hold it, that makes it much better. Okay. Oh, sword off. Yeah, I got the sword off. Oh, yeah, this thing's nice. What's this? The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay. So you might have to find a detonator for this one. To open that door. What's this? Is this like a bank? I may actually remember this one. I'm about to die. Yep. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Alright everyone, I made it back to where I was. I hadn't actually saved, so what I'm gonna do save that right there just so um, if I die it's right here. Give myself a little checkpoint. Alright. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. I need to get some painkillers or else. It's not going to be fun for me. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to want to kill those guys again. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I may have screwed myself.
I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy. With what I've done. This is not good enough to... I gotta watch out for that. I tend to do that in this game. Well, definitely did that a lot in my last playthrough, I remember. Saving close to enemies where I had no health. Um... Phone is ringing. Bank robber score lay on the table. Yeah, let's have a look at this first. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Okay. So phone's ringing. Let's see what this is about next. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. <laughs> nice one, Max. So yeah, let's go see what happens in Vault A now. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, Detonator. the cops had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. So now I'll be able to open that door. So let's... where's Vault C? I was already in C, so I need to go to B. Oh, this is the way I came in. Okay, these guys are done. Alright, let's do another save. Because, you know, that's uh, probably a good thing to do at the moment. I don't have painkillers, so this is not going to go very well. What the hell is this? Hey, there you go, grenade. Whoa. Okay, run, 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 run. Boom. Okay, that's, that's sick. I remember this. This is pretty sick. <clears throat> Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. A tunnel down Oh street. boy. No Who's that? Is that Vinny? I think that's Vinny, right? This is Lapino's doing? Lapino's men? Really? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's Oh yeah, he's gone. Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. No way. Oh man. Okay, well that's nice, isn't it? You know, send some guys down after that. Definitely do that. Alright, I'm back here again. I've saved this time. I don't have painkillers, so, you know, this is gonna be a really good time. Okay, look at this. Look at the middle guy. Like, look at his face. This game has some of the best faces, man, I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, shoot, no! No, Max, Max, you're rolling back into it! I am alive. So I hope I'm, I hope this is near the end. Or oh, give me some painkillers. I'm literally a one shot right now. Oh my gosh, how many more guys are gonna come down the stairs? Oh, okay, got him. Man, I am terrible at this game. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna take two of those. Alright, now I'm gonna save again. Sorry I keep doing that, but it's for the best. Oh my gosh. 
Going this way? No, not going this way. I think there might be like what the heck? A terminal. Oh yeah, here we go. Or oh, whatever to open this. We might be able to go through here. No? Okay, what about now? Um A little confused, I can't really remember. So that'll open this up, right? Hmm. That doesn't open anything. I don't think that does anything. Does it? How do, where do I go now? I'm sure I come through here. Okay, well that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we are, outside. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Pino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? <laughs> Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Oh, man. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. All right, everyone, I will have to end this one here. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to get shot up. Okay, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. It's uh, chapter 2 done. So, chapter 3 next. Uh, the guy, Alex, he is dead. I'll see you in the next part.